Shay here. We have an unbagging today. Um, I'm not 100% sure who this is from, but I do have one outstanding painting that I'm still waiting for, and I have a feeling this is it. Um, if it is, I, I ordered this April 25th, so it's been almost two months. And I could tell by looking at the label on the other side that it didn't come from, it came from China. So let's get into it. How are y'all doing? I am actually filming, this probably looks a little different than what you're used to. Um, I'm in a different location today. I am filming, yeah, I think it's what I thought it was, um, upstairs in the room that, keep our fingers crossed, um, double fingers crossed, that this will be the potential um, craft room that I get eventually. Uh, it's just an open room right now, and there's a little couch with a little... Um, ottoman so i just thought i would use the ottoman to open this up and it's got great lighting in here i don't have one light on so that's why we thought this would be really good to do as a craft room okay y'all this comes to us from it's what i thought it was finally and now this is a paint with diamonds now a little bit of story about this and some history i know that there is some controversy around paint with diamonds i know that there is some uh, a lot of things that have happened in the past that some people don't agree with. Um, the artwork that I ordered is licensed with this particular artist. So that's why I felt comfortable ordering from them. I know you're still putting money in a pot that may not, you know, again, there's different ways to look at this. Um, but to be honest with you, I've never, I've never ordered from them. And I was kind of in a jam, to be really honest. And I wanted to get something that was licensed. But I also, uh, I needed something in a certain amount of time. And so that's why with the time crunch, I really needed to get something. And so here's what happened. This is, um, oh, I've never, well, let's start with uh, the packaging before we get into what it is. And then you'll understand why I ordered it. Um, they've got their branding on the side, which is nice. Welcome to the family. And uh, let your mind wander. Now, this is interesting. The box actually opens. Look at this, y'all. It's an interesting box. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. Um, it's almost like a foil package, if that makes sense to y'all. You know, like a, the little foil box. Um, yeah, it kind of opens up um, differently than I'm used to. It's got like a little lid. I like that. Um, it's not squished, which I'm really, really excited about. It looks in good condition. Um, okay, so I knew I was gonna be doing the Sheena Pike along with Mindy for the month of June. The only Sheena Pike I already had done a Sheena Pike, and the only one that I had coming was the one from Craftably. And when I heard the one from Craftably was going to be delayed, I was nervous. Um, and so I went to go see where I could get a licensed Sheena Pike, you know, canvas from. And Paint with Diamonds came up. So that's why I ordered this one. And it's a mermaid. We all know I love mermaids. So let's get into it. Um, you know, I ended up, I did end up getting my, you know, Frenchie Corn from Diamond Art Club which has been so fun to work on, but boy, I didn't realize this was going to take as long as it did. I mean, the event's, you know, halfway over, um, but here's the, but let's, but that's why I ordered from them. So, and again, I was, I kind of went back and forth, um, cause I know that there's been some, you know, there's some history with them that you may or may not know about, and I don't want to get into it, but, um, some people aren't a big fan. So, but again, you know what, this is licensed, so. I felt good with it. All right, so here's a pen. They already have the squishy on there and they do have a, it looks like a three, a multi-placer and they've already got it on there, which is unusual. Normally these come separate. Oh, wow, this is a big one. Um, This is a big, I'm gonna say it's probably a 11, maybe a 10, maybe even you know, a 12 uh, multi-placer and it's one of the thin ones, so that's nice. Um, Okay, so that's good to know because I did see the pointy tweezers, which I love the pointy tweezers and the cover wasn't on them, it must have fallen off. Uh, they are not branded, but I did need another pair because my other pair is starting to bend, and these are my favorite ones. They pick up drills the best, in my opinion. One plate of uh, wax, pink wax, and then one white boat, one tray. So pretty basic toolkit. I do like the extra, you know, multi-placer. That's kind of a bonus. I didn't realize they put those in there. Oh, I take that back, y'all, I didn't see. Sorry, there's two plates of wax. All right, it's kind of fun opening up a new company that you've never done before. It's always exciting. All right, there's a little brochure in here. Welcome to the family. Let's get started. I'm sure it's going to have what's included. Sorry, y'all can't even see. How to get started. It's very, you know, cartoonish. Uh, pro tips. 
let's see. Yep, they've got free, oh, you know what insurance. So in case something happens, here's all their socials. All right, so again, you know, I don't think I would have ordered from them, to be honest, if it wasn't for I was in a bind and I really needed to find a kit. And, the, the, you know, she's legally licensed with them. So that's, that's, what I, that's what I did. So let's check them out. Let's give them a chance. Oh, no, this is going to be interesting, y'all. I, I, this is what I thought because I just saw Mindy open up one too. Um, I've never ordered a double-sided adhesive before. I've only done poured glue. So I, I know from telling y'all, <laughs> I need to follow my own directions. I'm not going to roll this backwards. It is a 42, I'm sorry, it's a 60 by 45, and it's got 48 colors. I like how they kind of just give that to you right there. It's got the legend right here. Now I'm a little nervous. Okay, there's a there's a foam roller in there. Okay, and then there's a piece of tape, it looks like, here in the center. Yeah, I'm nervous about bubbles and rivers and all the things you hear about double-sided adhesive, and I get to experience it. This is good for me, y'all. This is my first time unboxing double-sided adhesive. I hope I don't do anything wrong. Let's see. I've seen, you know, I've seen other creators, um, you know, unbox them, but I know you have to be careful with them. So, feels good. The canvas feels nice and smooth, except for where the tape was, but that's, that's coming right off. That's just rolling right off. Oh, all right. Well, that's not fantastic, but it's definitely not scalloped. <laughs> Okay, well, it does, sh it does a, it sheds a little bit, but when you don't have those scalloped edges, that's what can happen, it can fray. All right, let me move the, all this stuff over. Y'all, I'm kind of nervous. Let me back y'all out just a little bit. I feel like you're really close. There we go. You can see the whole thing now. How do I keep you flat, buddy? Stay there. Okay. And I thought this would be a good size, not too big. Okay, I think we've got it unrolled. And again, there's the foam roller that was inside. It has a little bit of a smell. I didn't notice it until, oh yeah, it's the foam roller. It's not the painting itself. I was gonna say, I didn't notice it until I pulled that out, but that definitely has a strong smell. Okay, y'all, I'm nervous. Should we peel back a piece? Okay, it is in two sections. Oh, yeah, looks like it. Looks like there's one section here, and, next, and then it looks like there's a third section up here. So let's take a look. Let's peel her back. I hope I don't mess this up. This is good practice for me. Oh, really sticky. Yeah, this is nice. This is fine for me to peel this off because I use release papers anyways. So I really don't have a problem. Now I hope I'm, yeah, I was gonna say, I hope I'm not upside down. Now I had never seen this image before the Sheena Pike image. I'm really excited to show y'all. I loved the colors. Okay, I'm just going nice and slow. I don't want to cause any problems. So far so good, y'all. Okay, and I know you have to make sure that you put it back on the right way. So I'm gonna lay that right there. All right, let's keep going. Oh, there's some of the, okay. Yeah, it is three sections, that's what I thought. See, it's got that one little last strip up there. Okay, let's see her. Okay, Take this off. Sorry, I'm going so slow, y'all. I can tell you right now, uh, looking at this, I'm not 100% satisfied. I know I shouldn't already be judging it, but I can, you know, we've unboxed enough. Um, and I know the drills aren't on it yet, but um, it's, uh, the rendering is not, it doesn't look like the picture that they had on the website. Her face, uh, you can barely see her face. It looks very blurred. So I don't think her face is gonna turn out very well. So let's turn her this way, okay. Um, another thing I'm seeing, yeah, so, I mean, this does not look, this is her face right here. Y'all see that? 
sorry, there's a glare. I'm trying to, here, let me zoom you all in a little bit. There we go. Yeah, it's just, re it's called Aqua Mermaid. And she just looks really, really, every and I know it's not a huge painting. And I know, you know, bigger is better. But I can really, I'm having a hard time making out her face. Wow. Okay. It's a little disappointing. Um, also, and I'm not sure if this is normal with um, double-sided adhesive, but it's almost like the adhesive um, is peeling up a little bit and in places. Especially when I went to pull. Oh, yeah, and there's some rivers. Oh, gosh, y'all. Yeah, there's some rivers right here. Okay, well, I don't know if this is going to work out. And this was about $50 that I spent. Um, can y'all see that down here at the bottom of the painting where the glue, you know, is, has peeled up a little bit. It's kind of, you know, peeling. And then you see some rivers. See that river right there? Those are pretty deep. I don't, I don't know y'all. They're not bubbles. They're definitely rivers. <sighs> so, and it smells. It's really got a potent, really, really strong smell. So I don't know, maybe I'm just not a double-sided adhesive fan, or maybe I'm just not a fan of this. Um, but I am, I'm definitely, I'm not real happy. I'm not excited about this. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be working on this one. This might be one that I just, yeah, I mean, I, I'm looking at it and I know the lighting's not great in here, but if y'all can see that, it's just, it doesn't look good. The drill field is clear. I will give them that. It's very clear, but yeah, it's sticky and it's clear, but I just am not loving this. I'm just not loving it. That's unfortunate. Oh, and like the smell, like I said, maybe that's the adhesive and that's maybe that's normally how it's supposed to be, but yeah, and you can barely tell that her face is right there. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna look up a little bit closer. Um, the only thing I can say that's a positive, the drill field is very, very clear. I don't see that being a problem. I just don't know about these rivers. I just, they're really deep and the drills are not going to lay down flat. And that's a really deep crease right there. I mean, that's a really deep, I, that's, I don't know about that. That's really deep. And look at this one right here, y'all. That's not going to come out. And the drills are not going to lay flat right there that's unfortunate yeah all right well you know I saw this to be honest you know I guess I know I've said to be honest a million times but this was going to be a backup if all else fails and I couldn't get you know a Sheena Pike I had to get one and I wanted one and when I saw this one it was Aqua Mermaid and I'm like that's awesome that's perfect great size loved the colors but um yeah I don't know y'all I'm gonna you know put the paper back on it um, here's the drills. They kind of just look thrown in there. They don't look very organized. So y'all see that? It's just kind of like a bag. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason to them. Um, I guess, you know, we should look at the drills just to give it a full review. I'm going to lay it over here. I'm going to be very careful with it. I'm going to lay it on a table I've got over here. But yeah, that's disappointing. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not loving that. All right, let's take a look at this. The bag's really, really flimsy. Yeah, I don't know, y'all, for the price that was paid. I'm not, yeah, I'm not completely satisfied at all. These look like they were just thrown in there. Now, they are individually bagged, which is good. Wow, look at this bag. 5,200. That's a lot of 5,200s. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. All right, so the you know all that background around her, around the blue and green, that's all going to be that white. Um, I don't think there's any ABs. I'm just looking at. I'm not going to go through all the colors, y'all. Yeah, I don't see any ABs. Uh, the drills don't look bad. I'm just kind of bummed out about this. You know, it took almost two months, and um, oh, that's nice. There's a square inside of a round bag. Here's a loose one, so one of the bags is definitely opened. Yeah, I'm going to give this, um, yeah, there's a lot of stragglers. I know that happens. That's not a deal breaker, but I'm just not real happy with it. So that's going to be it for me. 
I'm going to give this a thumbs down. I'm glad this was a backup. It's something I'll just keep in my stash. You know, maybe I'll let my daughter do it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm disappointed. Yeah. Bottom line, kind of disappointed. So, um, but you know, you don't know until you try, you know, on a lot of things. And now y'all get, for those of you that have never ordered from Paint With Diamonds, now you know. Um, I didn't know. I'd never ordered from them before. I actually honestly had never really watched an un unboxing of them. I just had heard some things that some of their practices were not, you know, like we'd like them to be. There was some artist things going on where they were trying to look for an artist to, to paint something like someone else's art so they didn't have to legally license it, this and that. So, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Um, I normally don't have negative, you know, videos, but y'all, I've got to be honest and it's just not, it's not doing it for me. Okay. Um, I hate to say if y'all have enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up, but if you like honest reviews, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do just hit that subscribe button. And then there's a notification bell right next to it. If you click on that, then you'll get notified every time I post a video. All right. Okay. I'll see y'all in the next one. All right. Take care.